Brave Mode today was born. Catatonia was reborn. And finally we were able to leave Sweden for our first tour. We hooked up with the Norwegian weirdos in the woods in a band from South Africa called Voice of Destruction. For some reason I wanted to do only vocals on the tour, which is weird because I couldn't even sing on our new album. So we brought in Fredrik's old companion from Uncanny, Kenneth Englund, to play drums on the tour. The lineup was completed with Mikael Urtoft on bass. The tour itself was quite good from what I can remember. Fair amounts of people coming out and an overall good vibe between the bands. The big problem for us was that Brain of the Day had not been released yet when the tour started. So I think for the first half of the tour we played songs that no one had ever heard before. And on the second half of the tour we played to people that had heard the songs once before. The tour was in November and the bus we had wasn't very good. The heater didn't work. We slept with jackets, shoes and hats to keep warm. And drank a lot of alcohol of course. After a while I got really sick. I had a fever and I had lost my voice and I couldn't even talk. Screaming my lungs out was not an option. I realized that I wouldn't heal up on the bus from hell, so I decided to go home. I made sure Anders got the lyrics, the other guys managed to borrow someone's rehearsal place and Anders had to learn how to play the new songs on guitar and sing at the same time in one day. I think it worked out. I got on a train in Frankfurt and some two days later I was back in Stockholm. Still sick but feeling even worse for leaving my friends and even worse for not being able to be part of the adventure that we had been dreaming about since we started the band. Brave Mother Day got butchered in the press in the beginning, but it seemed to grow steadily on people and is today rated as one of our best albums by many fans. <laughs> 